inside the car. No eating, please. No eating, no smoking. Thank you. Our trip around Great Hill Village will take approximately 30 minutes, but we have two additional stops. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the way. Greenville Village is divided into historic districts, the Henry Ford Model T District was first on the left. So we can enjoy a ride on an authentic Model T for the interior of the village. This is Henry Ford's birthplace, it's the White Farmhouse, built in 1861. He was born there in 1863. He moved in here in 1944 from three and a quarter miles away, which is on the corner of Ford Road in Greenville. Road. <laughs> Main Street District is where the Wright Brothers home and cycle shops are. Their authentic buildings coming to us from Dayton, Ohio. Built in the 1870s. Learn about the beginning of aviation. Visit Mrs. Cohen's millinery shop from downtown Detroit. It's about 1860. Next to her, the H. J. Hines building, built in 1835 in Stratford, Pennsylvania. Sir John Dennis Hitchcock from London, England, England. Behind the Ford Motor Company to the left is the loading dock of the Malapiga. Edison Edwards is the next historic district. Thomas Edison is credited with the 1093 UN patent. Many more from England, France, and Germany. On the village green is the Logan County Courthouse where Abraham Lincoln practiced law. Built in 1840 in Lincoln, Illinois. The gray building here is the rebuilt Menlo Park Laboratory. And the gold building where approaching is Sarah Jordan's boarding house. Many of the men who worked for Edison at the lab lived there. One of the first buildings in the United States wired for electricity. Next to Sarah Jordan was Edison's official Fort Myers, Florida Laboratory. And around the corner from him, the Luther Burbank Garden Office, the only building from the west coast of the United States in the village, built in 1906 in Santa Rosa, California. As you can see, we're setting up for Halloween. A lot of dangers are stood up for the We have a big event every uh, October, running two trains that night. Thursday through Sunday. Still think it's available. Green name season. 1832, it actually covers Bridge, comes to us from southwest Pennsylvania. This is the entranceway in the Forges of Harvard District. Here you can visit historic homes such as Noah Webster's 1823 home in New Haven, Connecticut. Robert Frost home, a managed farmhouse. The Hermitage Slave Force is in McGuffey's cabin, all up on Maple Lane and Wood. The other side of the bridge, up the sidewalk, and to the right, the sandstone complex, is the Coxball Cottage built in 1619 in Chadsworth County, England. Our first stop is directly ahead here, Susquehanna Station. We'll be here for four minutes. If you choose to get off the train, we'll be back around in 30 minutes. Remain seated for now, please. Wait for the whistle from the engine in. Once you hear that whistle from up front, that's the indicate you have set the air brake and it'd be safe to get up at that time and exit on your way. Keep arms, legs, and head inside right. the car. Yeah, no eating or smoking. Thank yeah. you. So we're on our way now to Smith Creek Depot at the far north end of Green Hill Village. That's the top of the map. The white building here is the Susquehanna Plantation built in the early 1800s. Come to us from St. Mary's County, Maryland, 
The Russ Keller building is the oldest American-made building in the village, dating to the early 1600s. The Plimpton House where Mr. and Mrs. Plimpton raised seven children in that one-room building in South Sudbury, Massachusetts. The windmill is the Ferris windmill, considered the oldest in the United States, built in 1640 on Cape Cod. It was a gift to Henry Ford by his National Dealer Association in 1936. The dark gray building next to this, a Daggett farmhouse, dating to 1754, and candle to the next. Horses, those gentle giants that do a lot of work in Greenfield Village, pulling the carts and wagons and working the farm. They get their legs off the hard surfaces of Greenfield Village, back out onto Arizona for four days in a row, relaxing before they're put back into service throughout the village. The historic locomotive building us today is the number three torch leg, the oldest steam locomotive operating in the United States, built in 1873, 150 years old this year. It originally worked the copper mines of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, donated to us in 1968. It's the last of its kind. The eight-foot serpentine wall on the right side was built in 1953, separating Greenfield Village from the Fort District, where cars and trucks were tested before production. to the students. 
then report it was always students first. He could be seen with them in the classrooms and on the field. We wanted to inspire them through America's traditions of ingenuity, resourcefulness, and innovation, and we continue that here today. There are three Pullman cars on the left where coaching and are attached in the center to part of the senior class classrooms. Remain seated until you hear the whistle from the engineer. Once you hear that whistle, then you can get up and exit off. the Greenfield Village Railroad. So again, please stay seated while the train's in motion. Keep those arms and legs and especially your heads inside the rail car at all times. Please refrain from smoking, eating, or drinking anything but water aboard the Greenfield Village Railroad. And as we continue on now through Railroad Junction, we're now about to pass the historic Smith's Creek Depot. Originally built in 1858 in Smith's Creek, Michigan, that's about eight and a half miles southwest of Port Huron. Where as a boy, Thomas Edison worked for the Grand Trunk Railroad, selling treats and newspapers along the way from Port Huron to Detroit and back again. And off to your left is the newest addition to Greenfield Village, that's our vegetable building from the, the Detroit Central Market, built here in Detroit in 1861. And as you know, we've had it as a farmer's market today, and we'll continue to have so be sure to stop by, check out our vendors and their wares. Now that brings us to the heart of our Railroad Junction District. Just ahead is our Detroit, Toledo, and Milwaukee Roundhouse. 
where we repair and maintain our three coal-fired steam locomotives. Originally built in 1884 in Marshall, Michigan, it was recreated here at Green Two Village in the year 2000. And on the other side of the roundhouse is our Liberty Craftworks District, where artisans and craftsmen create beautiful objects in glass and pottery, carding and weaving. There's a print shop, a sawmill, and so much more. And we're now entering our working farms district, and just beyond the red cider mill is the Firestone Farm, the birthplace of Harvey Firestone, Henry Ford's great friend, and the popular Firestone Tire and Rubber Company, back in Ohio. Firestone Farm is a living history farm. The farmhouse, built in 1828, is on the other be sure to stop by the park. Wave with that whistle, everybody. 